that they're bringing in are just guys. Yeah. You can't win with just a bunch of guys. Somebody has to be an MF and dog. The Detroit Lions, about 11 minutes ago, have sent out a release saying that they have re-signed former first-round pick of the 2017 draft, Jared Davis. Uh, this from Allen Park. The uh, Detroit Lions announced today that they have signed unrestricted free agent linebacker Jared Davis. Contract terms were not disclosed. Davis comes to Detroit after one season in New York, played for the Jets in 2021, played for the Lions for four seasons from 17 to 20. Team selected him 21st overall in that 2017 NFL draft out of Florida. He's entering his sixth NFL season, appeared in 64 games, 50 starts. 300 tackles, 10 and a half sacks, one interception, nine passes defense. He's got all kinds of stats. But uh, there you go. Dave About 11 feeling minutes ago, it would be linebacker. the Lions <laughs> signed unrestricted free agent linebacker Jared Davis. You can Why? no longer say that the Lions have nobody on their team from the 2017 draft. Why? Why did they bring back Jared Davis? So we don't have to say that anymore. <laughs> why, why did they bring back Jared Davis? Jared Davis still gives me PTSD from the 2017 draft. I wanted Calvin Cook. I mean, I wanted Dalvin Cook. Mm -hmm. Instead, he took Gerard Davis, and they mixed him in with Tease Taper, and neither one of them here, and now they bring him back. I I mean, he's been a durable linebacker in the NFL. I mean, I can give him that. He's, what, 330 tackles in four years or five years or so. I just don't understand why you bring him back. Like, what? what are, what is... I, I, I don't know. What? And that's why I'm asking. I'm not even trying to be critical of what Brad Holmes and the Detroit Lions are doing. I'm trying to understand. Because right now... I don't know what the F is going on down there in Allen Park. You bring back Jared Davis is a guy that a lot of people didn't like here in terms of his on-the-field play, in terms of drafting him. Where you draft him, you bring him back to put him alongside Derek Barnes. You put him behind Tracy Walker, behind him. I'm still trying to find out the pulse of what they're doing. I understand the draft is coming up. I understand they have a ton of draft picks. Are you trying to draft everybody and make free agent moves in 2023? I'm just asking for clarification. Yeah, it'd be interested. I'd be interested to see. You know, this is not the regime that drafted him. So I mean, they've got a fresh look at him. I think that's an interesting. Uh, he didn't do anything. A fresh look at what? Well, I don't know. I am not gonna claim you two would would know better than I would. I'm not gonna claim I've, I've watched any Jets game right. last year. In fact, I watched zero New York Jets games last year. So I'm really unfamiliar with the kind of year he had. Maz, you might be able to tell me more. I don't he, know if you watched the Jets at all last year. He didn't have year. a very good year. He was injured. So, so he then, didn't finish the year. So that's an issue then, I would I would say. Or you just get him so cheaply. Now the yeah. terms of the contract I don't think it we're, hurts not to have him. we're not disclosed. So we'll find you out what he's got you, left in the tank. I don't, don't think it hurts. Okay, let me ask you a question. I know we, we, Nick, with nickel and diming free agents, I get it. I get it. And we've already talked about how, look, I want to go out and get Tyron Matthew just like the next guy. I want to go out and get Julio Jones. He was a great name at one point. I want to go out and get Jarvis Landry. They're not doing it. So this is what they're doing. And I, you know what? I have to be okay with it. You don't have to be okay with it. You can ask the questions. The question is why did you go out and get Jared Davis? Like, what about him? What is it about him that fits into this, this, this moniker that you guys are trying to build? Is it that he's been here before? He knows the city of Detroit. He played four years here. He it's, played hard. I didn't say he didn't. I didn't say he didn't. I get it. You want a bunch of guys that are low cost. They're, they're cost effective. They play hard. They can buy into the culture. That's why I agree with Burkett that Jermaine Johnson is a better fit than Kayvon Thibodeau. I get buying into the culture. I'm just saying to win some games, you got to have some players. One of the reasons why we talked about Michigan not being able to beat Villanova, they didn't have a go-to guy. They didn't have a guy that could come in there and score points when you need it. They didn't have a Ben Carroll or a Jay Nivey, and the list goes on. They didn't have that player. A lot of these players that they're bringing at are just guys. Yeah. You can't win with just a bunch of guys. Somebody has to be an MF and dog. I love what you're saying, Bray, and I agree with what you're saying, and I'm not sure what they see in Jared Davis. I mean, under a previous regime, uh, he did not play very well. It just never worked out. Maz, as you say, goes to the Jets and didn't have a good season last year he and was injured. He had COVID last year, yeah. so he So I don't know. Time. I don't yeah. know what the reason is why they bring him back. If it's just a body. Familiar, yeah, he knows what the roads are, but this is a option. different... They didn't pick up his option, so now they got him cheaper. They gave him a year off, basically, and now they got him cheaper. That's all I'm thinking. Yeah. But can he play? I'm sure he could. We hope. Yeah. 
They know more than me. If he could play, then they wouldn't let him go the first time around. You let him go to New York, nothing happens in New York. Now you bring him back. So the only thing I'm saying, you didn't get a chance to see him last year and something jumped out. It's not like, okay, you let him go, he goes to New York on a prove-it deal, and then he goes and balls out. He didn't get a chance to play because he was hurt and he had COVID last year. So that's why I'm asking the question is, what did they see in him? What did they see in his workout? What did, they, what did he show them? What he showed them is that he's cheap. He's a player that you get for cheap. That seems to be the thing. That seems to be the model right now. It seems to be what they're doing. Go after cheap players. Bring them in. The guys that can fit the identity. I don't want to just say any random guy. A guy that they believe can fit the identity. But what is the identity? 3-13-1 again? And they seem to be running it back right now. <laughs> they're bringing a reunion. It's a reunion. Hey, man. Hey, tell the boys we're coming back in time. All right, you guys, shout out to Braylon Edwards, shout out to Woodward Sports, and shout out to the two gentlemen that did the show with Braylon Edwards. Definitely taking a snippet from Woodward Sports. Uh, we're going to talk about and piggyback off what uh, Braylon Edwards said about the team, pretty much just saying, you know, the Lions just brought in a bunch of guys. And that's what we did, guys, in the offseason. If you look at what we, what we did, we just brought in a bunch of guys. Where is the dogs at? Where the dogs at? Where my dogs at? Where is the dogs? I've been saying this for so long, guys. You know me. If you've been listening to my content, you know me. I've been talking about werewolves and silverbacks and straight up savage dogs. Braylon Edwards was so on point, man, about what happened this free agency. You know, like he said, you know, I guess we plan to make a splash in 2020, 2023. But the biggest thing when, you, when you're talking about the Detroit Lions is you're talking about a team that has never been really, really good. And sometimes, you know, as fans, you should question the moves of what's going on with the franchise. Come on, guys. All of us want to win. All of us want to see the Detroit Lions win and be successful. Come on now. You know, that's the common denominator in the room is the W. That's what we want. That's the elephant in the room. Is that you want this franchise to be a great franchise. And why can't we want the best for our franchise? Now, today I get to break my silence because I've been silent on the, the Jared Davis uh, debacle or pickup or whatever you want to call it. Um, should the Lions brought back Jared Davis? No. No. Because why would you bring Jared Davis back when you... Could have picked up his fifth year option, but you decide to take a break from this guy because you felt like he wasn't the linebacker in Detroit that you needed. So he takes a year off from Detroit, goes over in the offseason, signs with the New York Jets, has a COVID season, plays um half of the games. Um, I think he probably had what, like 20, 25 something, I don't know, about 25 something tackles like that. And you decide to bring him back. OK, a lot of people say, you know, don't rag on him. You know, he's, he's coming back to a new regime. I understand that, guys, that he's coming back to a new regime. And I know and I understand that we build through the draft. I know that I understand the concept of football. I know what GMs have to do. I know what this team is going to do. But when you look at it, guys, let's, let's face it, guys, we nickel and dime our way through free agency. We brought back a lot of the players that we felt that earned a contract. Like uh, Brad Holmes said, these guys wanted to be here and the grass is not always greener on the other side, you know, and he's just talking about picking up other guys from the outside. You know, I understand guys that want to be here and guys that want to work hard and guys that perform hard and guys that earn their paycheck. I understand that. But the Detroit Lions are so in a desperate need of talent. When you look at our roster, man, we like I said, guys, we do not have a face. I don't know how many times I got, I got to keep repeating this over and over. It just sounds like I'm hitting a tape tape recorder and just have it on repeat. And I'm just constantly saying the same things over and over about our, our football team. We need star caliber players on our team. What do I mean by star caliber players? I'm talking about impact players. Guys, that's going to make an impact. Now, you saw how the free agency looked. You saw that we nickel and dimed our way through it. And we, you saw the players that we brought in. 
you know, uh, shout out to guys like uh, DJ Shark for coming along the team and stuff like that. Shout out to guys like Tracy Walker. Definitely, he deserved it. He he was he had a phenomenal season last year. Uh, Khalif Raymond caught a lot of balls and and played phenomenal. But then you bring back Tim Boyle and David Blah. You brought back two quarterbacks. David Blah is 0-5 with the Detroit Lions. And Tim Boyle is 0-3 with a combination record of 0-8. Together, these both of these guys are 0-8. A lot of my frustration came back from, like, man, will you ever see any competition at the quarterback spot? And I'm not saying that Jared Goff has to lose his spot. I'm not saying that. All I'm saying is, is that you want to see a, some capable backup quarterbacks come in and get the opportunity to play. There's so many guys out there that you could have picked from, but you decided to bring back two guys that has a combined record of 0-8, David Blah being 0-5, and, and Tim Boyle being 0-3. But I guess you bought them back because they're familiar with the offense and they're going to do uh, what they're told and whatever they need to do. You know, you're just comfortable with these guys. But as fans, we should want the best for our uh, for our football team. You want to see the Lions get better. I want to see the Lions get better. And I totally agree with uh, Braylon Edwards. We just brought in a bunch of guys. That's all we did was bring in a bunch of guys. The Detroit Lions will not win until they start getting impact players on this team. You can't win with a bunch of guys that you throw on a team and just say, go out there and play football. You need you need star power, impactful power, whatever you want to call it. You need those guys that's going to stick out on the roster. You need the 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 Sues and the the Calvin Johnsons and the those type of players, Darius Slay. You need the guys that's going that's going to make plays out there. So I totally agree with what Braylon Edwards said that we're just. Bringing in a bunch of guys. What are we doing in Island Island Park, man? We're bringing nothing but a bunch of guys in. Where is the dogs at Detroit? Where is the dogs? Because we need them. So the Detroit Lions better get this thing right, man, in the draft. He has nine. Currently, he has nine picks. I don't know if the Lions are going to decide to trade back. If they're going to be uh, communicating with somebody over the phone and, you know, what's going to happen on draft night. But what I do know is that this team needs talent. Get all the capital you can get all the talent that you can, because he needs to hit on all nine picks right now. Currently what they have, he has to hit on them. When you look at this team on Sundays, there's nobody on this roster that pumps fear in your heart. There's nobody on our roster that pumps fear in your heart. There's nobody on this team that's an impact dude. Nobody. Detroit, we got to get it together, man. I want to see this team win. I know you want to see this team win. And I know some people may say, you know, you're belly aching over this team. You know, they're doing it right. They're doing it the right way. But look at what's going on, guys. Come on. It's, it's cool to question what your fran franchise is doing. That doesn't mean that you're belittling these guys or trying to destroy your franchise. You're just being critical of the process of what they're doing because you ultimately at the end of the day, you want to win. You want to have star caliber players on your team. And even if you don't have the star caliber team, you still want to win. So I totally agree with uh, Braylon Edwards that we just signed a bunch of guys. That's all we did. So I hope that the Detroit Lions knock out all of these draft prospects on draft day because they're going to need to. They're going to they're going to have to do it. Because if they don't do it, we're just playing with a bunch of guys. Where are the dogs at? Where is the dogs in Detroit? So that's all I wanted to say. Shout out to Woodward Sports. Shout out to Braylon Edwards. Love what he said about the Lions because it's true. We need dogs. Where is the dogs? I'm out of here. Till next time. Peace.